Shadow Lake has this enchanting, really special bog. The bog is just a multiple of beautiful things together in one place. My favorite part of Shadow Lake Bog is just walking down the boardwalk. When you see the bright green of the moss, it just has this feeling of calming you down. It's just very unique. We were just blown away by how beautiful it is and how magical it is. The experience of going back in time, really. Shadow Lake Bog area originally was partially used for a garbage dump. Historically, a lot of wetlands were considered to be just wastelands and were used uh, for, for garbage. In 1995, when we were able to purchase this property and some of the activities that weren't so earth friendly were occurring on the property prior, we set out to first figure out how we could correct some of those conditions. With Shadow Lake, we have an area that's unique. Ecosystems like this one provide functions for people. Klaus was able to really look at this and say, look, there's not only this opportunity to restore this area, but create conditions that would enhance the habitat for frogs and to really historically look at how the water was flowing from some major spring systems across the street into the peat bog itself. The restoration plan included removing 110 truckloads of material out of here that had anywhere from engines and car parts to bed springs. And then with reforestation and planting of native plants, we've now been able to alter it back into a more natural state. So it became a watershed project and the pond became one part of it. The purchase of land became another important key of this whole integrated project. The education of its people became an important part of the project. These things, all interrelated, are beneficial to the community as a whole and to the entire region of King County. So it, it's a really an important keystone piece in the local ecology and regional ecology of King County. In 1999, we got together the idea of starting the nonprofit Save Habitat University of Wetlands, and we formed Shadow. It's a really a cool birth of an organization. We thought that having the kids out here was just really going to be important. So our education actually was born fairly early and continues on today. I've come where we set up microscopes and we've actually collected water samples and we collected amphibians and we've collected plants. And they learn about these different attributes of bogs and wetlands and why they're unique. So here you go, your very own tadpole how they're fun and how they're playful, how they're directly influenced by them and how they can benefit from them. They love it. Kids have a thirst for science. There's this huge pathway. You can see tons and tons of interesting things, like this um, man-made stuff that turned into a habitat. I like walking on the trail and saw the peat moss and all the like skunk thingies. There's some more skunk cabbage. It's important that my students have the opportunity to do the research that they're doing here at Shadow Lake Bog, because it's real science. We're actually getting out there and doing real science versus just talking about it in the classroom. It's just really nice to be out here, have that one-on-one -on -one connection with the land and experience it live. Breathe in the fresh air, hear the birds. Shadow Lake Bog's a very unique ecosystem. It's totally different just seeing a plant in a book rather than like being able to feel it and be able to actually see where it is at naturally. And so you don't see how plants work together. You only see individuals in the book. And so it's really important that we get to see how the different plants are surrounding and working with the plants around them.
preservation of the peat bog was the overarching goal. But then with that came the land acquisition and being able to share it in a way that meant something to the community, which meant the education program, building a boardwalk so people could take tours, having resources that people could use, and making it available for people to come and visit on the weekends. Part of the goal of this whole process is also to save this wonderful habitat. Habitat is diminishing very rapidly. In King County, there's statistics that say that eight acres of forests are demolished every day. And if we can save a couple hundred acres, that's really wonderful. It's a special ecosystem. It's habitat to specific types of animals. It's habitat to specific types of plants. And if we don't protect those areas, those things will go away. It's a land use ethic. It's how we use our land, how do we protect it, and how do we leave it for future generations.